Hello everyone, this is Harlambos Pissuros, senior analyst here at IronFX, bringing you the technical updates for the 30th of uh, September. Today I would like to describe the technical picture of uh, Euro dollar, which traded in a consolidative manner yesterday. I would also like to talk about uh, GBPUSD, which fell back below the round figure of uh, 130. So let's get the ball rolling with the Euro dollar currency pair. Euro dollar continued trading in a consolidative manner yesterday, staying between the support of 111.90 and the resistance of 112.40. The fact that the rate remains below the downside resistance line taken from back at the peak of the 18th of August keeps the door open for the next uh, leg to be negative. However, a clear dip below 111.90 is needed to confirm uh, to confirm that something that is possible to initially open the way for the next support level of 111.50. What is more, today we get uh, Eurozone's preliminary CPI for September and expectations are for the block's inflation rate to have, a, to have a reason. So this could cause the pair to strengthen uh, somewhat, at least temporarily. Looking at our short-term oscillators, I see that both uh, the RSI and the MACD lie near their equilibrium lines. confirming uh, the recent indecision between traders uh, to assume a direction. As for the bigger picture, the pair is still trading within the sideways range between 108 and 115 and therefore I would maintain my flat stance as far as the longer term trend is concerned. Now let's continue with cable. GBPUSD traded lower on Thursday, falling back below the round figure of 130 to hit support at 129.45. The price structure on the 4 hour chart still suggests a short term downtrend. And uh, as a result, I would expect the dip below 129.45 to initially aim for the next support of 129.15, where another break could set the stage for extensions towards the key obstacle of 128.50. Nevertheless, taking a look at our short term oscillators, I still see positive divergence between both of them and the price action. Thus, I would be careful that a corrective rebound may be on the cards uh, for now. As for the bigger picture, given that the pair has been oscillating between 128.50 and 135 since the 24th of uh, June, I would maintain my wait and see stance. So that's it uh, for today. For more, for more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.